task week involved 180 fourth year students working in the local community. They produced this film record of their activities. The venture was sponsored by BP through their school's link scheme. Part one school of Guildford has arranged for all its fourth year students to go out into local industry on task week, which involves all the pupils going to different working establishments for experience, which may become useful in the future. During this week, the students will be able to discover if they can work responsibly without being under supervision of the teachers. We interviewed the headmaster of the school to find out how Task Week actually began. How did Task Week begin? Well, it began at a meeting which we held just over a year ago, about half a dozen of us really trying to find a, a systematic way of giving our students some experience in local industry and commerce. What do you think the students will gain from Task Week? Well, the most important thing is that they'll be having a, a, a wider range of educational opportunities, that they'll be having the opportunity to work with adults who aren't teachers in a, an environment away from the school, and they will also appreciate what industry does and its importance in society. Who arranged most of Task Week? Well, Mrs Mason's organised uh, most of it, and Miss Dudley has been uh, helpful in the background as, uh, as head of fourth year, but uh, Mrs Mason's carried the bulk of the responsibility. What benefit do you think the employers are gaining from Task Week? Well, one thing we have stressed right from the very beginning is that it's not just an exercise in our pupils going into a firm to see what happens. We want our pupils to do something productive during their week so that an employer will feel that something positive has been achieved as well as giving our pupils uh, an excellent experience. One of the projects of Task Week was set up here at Marysburg Agricultural College near Guildford. Paul, one of our students, is learning how to climb a tree with a rope and harness. We're still in Mersford Agriculture College, but now we're in the library. These girls are sorting out some books. This is the outside of Scattergoods. I'm now at Scattergoods, an employment agency in Shelford. This is Chris, who has been working with a computer. What exactly have you been doing? Well, the main, the main object is to find jobs for the temporarily unemployed people. And we've, we match up their personal details with, um, with the jobs, and then we try and find them a suitable job. Jason and Tarek are also working at Scattergoods inputting data into the computers. Um, show us a little bit of what you've been doing then, Chris. Well, what, essentially what I'm doing, I'm I've been typing in the personal details of all the people, yeah. and then when I've done that, I check to see if they've got any jobs. We do, we find all the, we print out all the jobs that they could do, yeah. and then we send them a postcard or a letter or something to tell them that we found them a job. Will this influence your choice of career in the future? Well, I don't know about that, but it's certainly a nice place to work at. Excuse me. Hello, Chris Butcher's office. Oh, hello, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've got a TV interview at the moment, bye. Here we are, outside Grace of Guildford, where some students are assisting the mechanics. Gray's is a large garage on the Guildford Bypass. Here, students are working in the sales department, assisting the mechanics in the service area and work shadowing the personnel in the accounts department.
RKG Motors, who are also another firm who are participating in the task week. Two pupils are helping to maintain cars. Claire Amory, I was very keen to work in a garage and I had to compete with several people in an interview to get this job. I'm enjoying working here very much and I'm getting some very useful experience that I hope I will use when I leave school. This is Coombs, where Sam, one of our pupils, is helping with the maintenance of cars and motorbikes. Sam, are you nervous cleaning this bike? No, it's fine. It's quite sturdy, really. And how much is it worth? About £4,000. That's one of the cheaper models. Have you done any other jobs since you've been here? Yeah, we changed the oil filters and taken off the exhaust and put the neck on and stuff like that. Do you hope to do a job like this when you leave school? Mm, hopefully. I enjoy it a lot. Some of our students are at local schools and here we are at Barnwood First School. Theatre where two pupils of Park Barn have come for their task week. We will now go inside and see what they're actually doing. At the Guildford Boathouse, a group is working on the maintenance and running of a variety of hire boats.
Emma is serving customers in the store's bakery. My name is Emma Johnson and I chose to spend last week working at Sainsbury's in Bertham. I learned a great deal about how a large supermarket is organised and how to deal with a variety of customers. All the staff were extremely helpful and I really enjoyed the whole week. Mr Holloway, you won't be in. No, I don't. And um, Mrs P Mansfield, she's got a sore throat. OK, thanks, Doug. See you. Coats, students are assisting in all the stages involved in the plastic coating of products, from the initial cleaning of the items to their final packing ready for dispatch. One group of students chose to work at the Alder Valley Engineering Depot in Aldershot. Oh, we're in Old Valley Sun Lighting Department. And have you been doing sun lighting yourself? Yeah, I've been doing sun lighting. Is this where you've been all week? No, I've been in the different department, sanding down and painting and varnishing some coaches and buses. Is that interesting? <laughs> Fairly. Which do you prefer? I prefer sun lighting. Would you like to do sun lighting in school? Yeah, wouldn't mind it. Did you know much before you came here? Not really. You didn't, so it's all new to you. Yeah. Would you like to follow this up as a future career? Yeah. You would? Yeah, I mind it. Yeah. I'm here at Surrey University where David is carrying out a project of making tea. No, well, I'm not just making tea, I'm going to extract the caffeine from it. Is this typical of the work you've done so far this week? No, it's, it's not. This is the first day I've done an experiment. Um, the first day I was going around the labs with a technician and seeing how our labs run and getting rid of waste and stuff. Do you, do you like it here? Yes, yeah, a nice place to work. People are nice. Is this something you'd like to do when you're older? Um, yeah, probably, but I'm not sure yet. But in this case, the teachers are only really involved with this stage. Mr Granger and Mr King are from the School Chemistry Department and are keeping an eye on his progress. And with them is Mr Hopwood from the University. Another tutor visit is taking place here in the Physics Department. So what that trace? Where's it coming from? Which equipment's providing? Oh, channel two. Right. Uh, channel one's around here, some there is channel one. Please, do it again, man. Can you show us how you test that? Yes. Yeah. Um, we plug it into this DC measure, put it on one volt. First you've got a zero in, so you put it onto ground, zero into the... So you're actually setting the zero volt position? Yeah. Right. Put it onto DC there, put it onto DC. As you can see, there's the one volt is running up there, and that's one square line up, so that's OK. So for every square it goes up, that's one volt, is it? Yeah. That's right. What have you just done there? I'll just switch it onto 0.5 and make sure it goes up one point boxes. So it's a different scale? Yeah. Fine. Mm. 
The pharmaceutical company Sterling Winthrop have groups of students here in their administrative building working in research coordination and general administration. Sorting out the photocopying. <laughs> and who did the photocopying? Me. You did. Is the machine hard to use? After I sorted out all the mistakes, which I put in. Is this the sort of work you've been doing all week? No, not quite. I've been doing, been on the computer the second half of the week. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Do you like to carry it on when you leave school? This sort of work. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. This is Andrew and Sarah, who also at Sterling Winthrop. What are you doing at the moment? Well, we're counting telephone calls and requests for drugs. Is this all, what you've been doing all week? No, I've been doing some packing. And what else have you been doing, Sarah? Typing, mainly, the addresses from the requests, which are from the rest. Have you made any mistakes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed yourselves here? Yes. Yeah. Is this the type of work you'd like to do when you leave school? Yeah, Office work? Right, right. All the coordination for Task Week is being routed through the Task Week Office. Wherever possible, the administration of Task Week has been carried out by the students themselves with the staff coordinator providing only occasional backup. How hard was it organising Task Week? The people in the area were very interested, very cooperative, very helpful. So in fact it wasn't difficult in that respect at all, just time consuming. Did it go as well as you expected? Yes, I think it did. Did everybody cooperate to the standards you expected? Almost without exception, yes, and above my expectations in all cases. Would you do task with you again? I hope so. Okay. We have stressed right from the very beginning is that it's not just an exercise in our pupils going into a firm to see what happens. We want our pupils to do something productive during their week so that an employer will feel that something positive has been achieved as well as giving our pupils uh, an excellent experience.
Other than you've disconnected from the television, haven't you? Yeah. Here we go. And now back to 